Hello, I am KHM, and if you're like me and play a lot of games, you'll probably have noticed that after a while you'll seem to hit a skill ceiling. And no matter how much you play, you can never seem to get better. But you'll keep running into other players who have clearly gone above and beyond your level and wonder how they did it. Well, the answer is quite simple. You can practice a game all you want, but you'll never get better until you know exactly what it is you're practicing. What I would like to do is show some footage of gameplay and analyze it by figuring out what went wrong, what went right, and then use this knowledge to figure out a way to stop being bad at Planet Side 2. Now I am not an expert and will be learning a lot as we go, so if I miss something feel free to tell me about it in the comments below. Let's get into our first clip. We'll watch it all the way through once and then we'll try to analyze it. Okay, now let's try to analyze this stupidity. Now I can see that my buddies are over here, they're facing this direction, and shooting at this building here, which must be where the enemies are. Which makes sense, since that is where the point is, and they are currently holding the point. So it seems quite likely that they are all facing this direction, shooting back. Which means they probably aren't expecting somebody to go around and start shooting at them from behind. Now, it would probably be very generous to say that all this was going through my head, but nonetheless, I choose to flank. If we freeze frame it here, we can see a VS Sunday right here, and while I didn't know it at the time, I knew its general location. So what this tells us is that the enemy will be moving from here to here, right along the path I'm going to be running against in my attempt to flank the people in this building. Now at this point, I know that there are probably a number of enemies behind me, looking in my direction, and will probably start shooting at me soon. So this means that I need to move to a position where they can't shoot me, and allow me to focus on the people who are in front of me. But also, when the inhabitants of this room realize that I'm here, I will also need my spot to protect me from them. The spot to my left behind the point seems perfect. So I quickly capitalize on no one knowing I'm there, and open fire while I move into cover. But to my surprise, there is an enemy medic already there. And in my confusion, it never occurs to me to stop moving in that direction, point my gun down so that I'm actually hitting him, or use my knife. As a result, I die stupidly without having done much damage. So let's take a quick look at what I did right. Well, I chose to flank, which is usually a good thing to do, although the path I took is a bit of a gray area. And I feel I correctly assessed where I needed to take cover inside the room when I got there. What did I do wrong? I for some reason assumed that the corner of a room full of enemies wouldn't be occupied. I kept moving towards my enemy after I spotted him and got behind the cover I originally wanted. I fired my gun around wildly instead of properly aiming at my target. And I forgot to use my knife when I got within hugging range of my target. What can we do to learn from my mistakes? It might be a good idea to start assuming that all corners are occupied until proven otherwise, especially if the room is full of enemies and the corners provide cover. Now this wouldn't entail anything elaborate, just a quick look and maybe a bullet here and there would probably suffice. I'm not sure how you would go about dealing with surprise and confusion in a situation like that other than not being in the situation where you're surprised and confused. A quick search on Google didn't yield anything for me. But if someone has a suggestion, I'd love to hear it. It might also be a good idea to get better at aiming. Now this is a good goal that will help almost every aspect of gameplay, and there are a number of things one can do to help themselves towards this goal. First thing you can do is always make sure you have raw input turned on, and lower your mouse sensitivity so that you use your elbow and not your wrist to look around. Next, if you have one available to you, switch out your weapon for something really accurate. This will reward you for aiming well and punish you for just spraying and praying. It also helps if you try to aim at a specific part of your enemy. If you have problems remembering to do this, I find it helps just to repeat to yourself, I will aim at X over and over again when you are expecting an engagement. The last thing I can think of to help you aim is to go to the VR and practice aiming. 
Now, how you would go about doing that is to find yourself a nice target dummy, put your crosshairs over the part of them you wish to shoot, then move your crosshairs in any direction you want, and then try to move the crosshairs back in one smooth movement. Now, because you're using raw input, the distance your mouse will travel is the same no matter how quickly you move it. So start out moving slowly and increase your speed when you feel comfortable doing so. Also, if you find yourself constantly over or under shooting, or your hand starts to hurt, then your mouse sensitivity might be wrong and you might want to consider adjusting it a bit. And lastly, try to remember to use your knife. You should probably go about this in a similar manner to remembering to aim. Just say to yourself, I will knife him if he gets close, over and over again when you're expecting an engagement. Now, doing this would clearly conflict with remembering to aim, so don't be afraid to only do one or the other or even temporarily drop parts of your playstyle to simplify things and make it easier to learn. Next, what I'd like to do is work on our situational awareness a bit with a game that I'm going to call What Made That Sound? For this episode, we're just going to be focusing on infiltrator cloaking sounds. But before we get started, I'd like to note that not only are there faction-specific cloak sounds, which will let you know if it's a friend or foe, but there are also action-specific cloak sounds, which will also give you an idea of the intent of the infiltrator, and will tell you what you're looking for when you're trying to find them. By that I mean that if you hear someone cloaking, then you know that they are trying to hide and maybe sneak up on a target, and you need to look for a shimmer. But if you hear them decloaking, then you probably will need to react quickly because they are most likely about to attack. And now, so that we know what we're listening for, let's start with a TR infiltrator cloaking. Now decloaking. Next, an NC infiltrator cloaking. And decloaking. And last, a VS infiltrator cloaking. Now decloaking. Now that we know what we're listening for, let's play a few clips and try to figure out what made that sound. So, what made that sound? It was a cloaking TR infiltrator. How about this one? It was a cloaking NC infiltrator. And this one? It was a cloaking VS infiltrator. And now this one. It was a decloaking NC infiltrator. How about this one? It was a cloaking VS infiltrator. And this last one? If you said it was a cloaking TR infiltrator, you'd be wrong because it was a cloaking NC infiltrator. I, KHM, hope you learned something from this video, and if you enjoyed it and would like to see more, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. Thank you for watching.